Okay, okay. Let's switch gears. Let's let's bring it back to Australia. Are you, are you familiar? Are you big with NRL? No? Uh, yeah, I mean, I okay, okay. know of it. I haven't watched so it. So check much, this yeah. out. Okay, so my team, the Brisbane Broncos. Yeah. Uh, last year, okay season, but it ended uh, horrendously, really. Um, but amongst, you know, a couple of things that went well for them is they discovered new talent, right? So they have, they have this young kid called Selwyn Cobo, right? Superstar. Um, I'm just trying to see. Da, 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 Brisbane Broncos winger. Fullback, uh, young, young kid, effectively. I'm just trying yeah. to see his age, man. Jesus Christ. You, can, you can tell I did really good research. For that. <laughs> uh, he, he's young, 20 years old, right? Okay, young yeah. kid, superstar. So yeah. he came in, scored like 20 tries or something. The next Greg Inglis. Actually, yeah, they're comparing yeah. him to Greg Inglis, yeah, yeah. right? 20 year old, like, you know, they thrust a mic. Like, you're right. We're living in such a social media generation that when these young kids come in, you see it in basketball all the time. Yeah. Like, do you even remember what the hell you were doing when you were 20 years old? Like, if someone thrusted a mic to interview into it, how polished would you be? Crap, right? Like, you'd be... Not really that great. Yeah, exactly, right? Like, can't even remember what I did yesterday. (laughs) What I did in 20 years old. Anyway, the short of it is Brisbane... So, in Brisbane, heaps of pressure there, right? So, they've got the Dolphins this year, but really, it's Brisbane and North Queensland and Gold Coast Titans. It's... In in Bris- in Queensland, Brisbane runs that show, right? They're the big yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the richest NRL club. The most established. Yeah. yeah. So so for the Brisbane Broncos, for those who are watching international, like the Los Angeles Lakers, every every year if you don't win a championship, it's seen as bad thing. Yeah. So t- like great club, prestigious to play for, but the the pressure that comes with that's intense. So they hired the uh, a coach Kevin Walters, who yeah. who's played for the Broncos. Yeah. Let's call Kevin Walters LeBron, which might be yeah. You can take that. You can take. You can, you can, you can, you can, in the sense that he has a lot of um, power or, or historical bind with with the yes, club. Yes, yeah, yes, yes. In he, that regard, and in Queens, take it out of context. though. blow it up. Please. And in Queensland football, he's in Queensland power. football. Yeah, yeah. He does, yeah. So he's a darling for the yeah. thing, and he's been under a lot of controversy, heat, right? Because he hasn't taken the Broncos out, right? Um, of, of the doldrums. Anyway, so our boy, twenty year old Selwyn Cobo. Goes on this podcast, by the way. This is just, yeah, I don't, yeah. Goes on this podcast. This, it, it's not even a big podcast. Yeah. But let's just say it that way. And the individual uh, interviewing him says, "What do you think of Kevin Walters as a coach?" Oh right? shit! And Cobo <laughs> is like laying back, like yes, like <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. I think he's um, he's a good he's a good guy, but I don't don't think he's a really good coach, eh? Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> So you, mate. All you need is one extract. God, I hope the extract yeah. don't get taken out of this podcast. <laughs> out of context, and it got blown up. You got another context. Brisbane's under fire. They've just, they've, yeah, like every. That's pretty brave to be talking about. Wasn't it? He's a pretty powerful man in Queensland football. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You don't want to exactly. be talking about Exactly. So like this is in every tabloid, yeah. every Queensland rugby, even in the NRL. Cobo, this is like you, you can go a million ways with this, right? Yeah, All you yeah, need yeah. is that one that extract, one extra, co- yeah. and then it's just blown so big. And, and uh, you know, when I first heard it as a Broncos fan, I'm like, you know what? He's so young, it must be taken out of context. And then I read it, it's like, no. then I saw it, it's like, it definitely wasn't out of context, <laughs> but. It was a dumb thing to do, probably. Like, you yeah. think like, he's 20, yeah, he's yeah. young. Like, yeah, we yeah. do a lot of dumb things when we're young, right? Yeah, yeah. And I mean, it's dumb. It's pretty dumb. <laughs> if you think yeah, about yeah, it. yeah, yeah. I mean, for your career, right? Yeah, if yeah. If you're starting out in your career and you think going on a podcast talking about the most powerful man in Queensland football is yeah. a way to... Well, your coach. Your coach is your boss. Yeah, your boss, yeah. right? Talking about your boss in a way that... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's not smart. Yeah, It's definitely not smart, but the, the context behind it is he's a country boy, whatever, whatever that means. But like yeah. he's, he's shy. So, you, I mean, like the point that I got to you, thrust a mic in front, unless you're comfortable with that and yeah. i tried to look at i didn't try and see the whole podcast because it was difficult to to, to to hear the audio but tried to see the context between it and he's clearly getting used to the the limelight of yeah, the media yeah. and the, answering it right media training he probably doesn't have so if you and i are just chatting hey man what do you think of your bo- boss and don't, don't ask <laughs> but what i'm saying is like in that context it looked like he was just chatting with a mate yeah and you can have the fil the bypass filter is not there yet yeah. right you you can you don't have to say stuff like that what even is, if you believe it's true actually, and he's not the only one who said that that's the other thing that's other- the thing with like you would say like in general podcast mediums is that 
it doesn't really feel like you're in front of the media. You're just sort of you, back yeah. and forth with your mates. Well, you're right? back, back and forth with your mate. That yeah. that was the and, context of it. Yeah, and I thought maybe yeah, the, the media training light doesn't kick in. That yeah. you know you're just in a podcast back and forth with your mate. Well, that and he's twenty years. He's old. twenty. He's twenty, he's 20 years 20. old, he's, right? He's so in his mind, probably, I'm telling you the truth. Like I'm not being rude about yeah, it. Like yeah, yeah. it's factual statement. Yeah. Did you have to say that? Probably not. Yeah. Like probably not if it's your boss. But he probably thought, "Who's going to listen to this podcast anyway?" Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> only, who's like <laughs> who's one to extract? <laughs> Someone found this one extract. Oh man, people are getting cancelled for things they said oh, thirty years ago. My God, and now, now apparently. Um, not allegations, but you know, my boy Kevy's butt hurt about it. You know, <laughs> yeah. I mean, if you're like the coach of a team and one of your, you know, he's, players a, star. Is he's this, a young star. Like half of the NRL actually want him. Yeah, like everyone wants him. Do you think this? Do you think this is maybe a ploy to get him out of his contract? From who? His agent. From Bronk? Oh, is he free? He, he's a free agent. No, the but uh, they signed him. But he wants to be a Bronco. So he he's come through the juniors, and he said he's wanted he's always wanted to be a Bronco. So I don't think so because because it, usually they do media training with a lot of these young guys, man. Like they got a, you give me media. He's 19, 20 years old. Yeah, yeah. like There's like again, it's it's twenty seconds of and I try to say it verbatim how he said it, meaning like I like he reading between the lines it's probably like so did he say it like oh it's like yeah he said it exactly like i said uh, i'm i'm literally trying to go over <laughs> this like, was he like oh yeah he's all right he's, yeah, but it's yeah, not he's, the, he's not that he's, great i think he's a good bloke yeah. but I, I don't think he's the best coach i mean like what's yeah, your best yeah, coach yeah, yeah. but but to that point a lot of people are saying like dude this is your first first grade team so how many coaches would you possibly have yeah true i yeah. mean people have different coaching styles right yeah, yeah. you're not going to get along how many how many bosses have you had like you can pick a best boss right yeah, yeah. and you can say like oh he's not the he's a good person after 10 years of experience exactly Exactly. Working, yes. Yeah. But but to that point, if that's your opinion, that's your opinion. That's fair, right? It's just yeah. that he said it. That that's all it is. Yeah. It's all that he is. And to that point, a lot of people have have said Kevin Walters has has a different way of running the show that maybe doesn't align. Again, a lot of the players they're younger players. So yeah. Gen Y, there's, there's a different generational. So footy is the universal language. You have to listen to your elders, and yeah, he's yeah. done things. And, and that's probably the biggest kickback. Who the hell is Selwyn Cobo to talk to? Like, a, a, it's just disrespectful, which, yes, <laughs> like, yeah, I, I agree. A, I don't, you don't disagree with him. And, uh, okay, so, so. I'm pretty sure if he, like, were to take it back, he would. Okay, if you were Selwyn Cobo's PR. <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm going to start a PR agency, man. <laughs> is, I'm giving free there, there, advice there, here, there, man. There, Come there, on. A lot of dudes. <laughs> okay. Peep this out. Selwyn Cobo, all the controversy. You know, you're, he's on Twitter. He's like, bro, I'm, I'm getting smashed here. What do I do? Like, <laughs> so, so what do you... I don't think that's how Selwyn talks. But what, what, has what, he, what has, would you say? He what hasn't would, released the statement, has he? I don't think so. No, no I don't believe he So has. what would you say? Come on, um, g- give Selwyn some advice. I mean, and don't tell him to go to Hustlers Universe. <laughs> 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 oh, well, maybe man. You should, don't it's tell him about the Matrix. It took the words out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's a uh, okay. I think first of all, yeah, he's just gonna he's gonna obviously release some sort of statement and yeah. say, you know, uh, the words that I was trying to say were sort of not said the right way. Yeah, um, he just he could even say, oh, look, I've had previous coaches that I've connected with a bit more. That's probably what he was trying to get out. It's come off as Kevin Walters is not a great coach. That's yeah. not what yeah. you know. That's not what he intended. Um, and you know, like he respects Kevin Walters. You know, he's one of the greats of you know Queensland Rugby League. You know, so he, we agree he needs to say something, right? What if he doesn't 100%. say anything and lets lets it pass by? If he if he doesn't say anything and it's just I mean, some, it's a news cycle thing, so it will. Eventually yeah, I mean, pass. if he doesn't say anything, and it's just something that him and Kevin have worked out. Then that's fine as well, really. Yeah, I, mean, I think you need to say something though, because you know what's going to happen. What's going to happen is in in the in the midst of a season, little things are gonna, little things will yeah. happen, and you're going to go up and down. Especially if Broncos got might be a lot more down like, than like, up in like the beginning. Like Kevin might be like very Kevin, hard on him. And, what what happens is but one, like he's hard on every player, right? One day Kevin benches him, and yeah. then oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh hell breaks loose. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know what I mean because yeah. he has they haven't closed the loop. So unfortunately, Actually, you know what I'd do, right? Yeah, press conference Kevin and him. And then just say, look, there's nothing wrong here. It's just... Well, you're on a boxing fight. No. <laughs> no, just have him there at a press conference, sitting down and say in front of the press, say, look, there's no problem here. It's just, uh, you know, he's, he said, you know, obviously have, you know, have him say that. Like, yeah, I have no problem with Kevin. It's just like, 
because I'm the worst sort of, you know, yeah. he said it wrong. Yeah, it's it not what like, he meant. I actually wasn't Unintended. talking about Kevin Walters. Is that Kevin from... Um, I was talking about Kevin Chang, actually. Kevin Chang. <laughs> <laughs> Met this guy. Uh, <laughs> I was to this podcast. He tried to coach really me for five <laughs> minutes and I don't know why. <laughs> talking about Hustlers <laughs> University. <laughs> And I was like, no, this is Kevin's not a great coach. Yeah, man. He doesn't, I don't even know the guy. <laughs> but, oh, no, he's... I mean, look, it's not the worst thing that's happened on the rugby league in terms of media. Hey, man. Um, something to talk about. But, yeah, it's it, it's it's something I think they can... Yeah, they're probably already past it already, yeah, yeah. within the team. But, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Someone, someone's, yeah, someone's had a chat with a boy. Yeah, yeah. Okay.